Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has received an update, which rolled out on the 30th of May, which was once again late yesterday in my region. And there's actually quite a lot going on in this latest point release, which is a non-security bug and improvement fix update. Now, as always, to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version and build after the update has been applied is 125.0.2535.79. So we're dealing with a point release, and that's been bumped up from point 67. Now, first of all, uh, in this update, Microsoft mentions they have fixed various bugs and performance issues, which is common uh, in the point release updates. And those bug and performance uh, fixes roll out almost on a weekly basis. They've also improved the reliability where they fixed a browser crash which occurred on startup in cases where the profile information was cached in an incorrect format. So that's a bit of a reliability improvement. And then they resolved an issue which affected the view in File Explorer option in SharePoint Online. So that's mainly, I would suggest, for Edge for Business and your corporations and your enterprises. But nonetheless, improved reliability and we get some bugs and performance issues that have been squashed and fixed. Now, something else I have noticed that isn't mentioned in the release notes for this um, update. And first of all, um, just on a quick side note, the first thing I've noticed is that if we head to the sidebar, the image creator from Designer has received a new icon. And I think we'll get a better view of that if I just head over to Copilot Online. And there we go. So Designer, I don't know if you can see that properly in the video, but there's a new icon next to designer so that's the first thing i've noticed and then if we head back to our settings appearance something else i've also noticed is that there's a new color picker which i have been posting on for a good couple of months now that's been in preview it kind of came and went in preview and now i see it's starting to roll out with this update to the stable version of microsoft edge where you can uh, basically create themes with different colors and uh, um, this has now finally made its way from preview into stable. Now, first of all, just a quick side note. This seems to be on a controlled rollout because I'm only seeing it on my Windows 10 device in Edge at this stage in the stable version and not on Windows 11. So you may see this, you may not, but there we go. There's a new color picker. And how this all works, as the name implies, you click on that. And yeah, you've got obviously a palette and you can change that with the little... A progress bar at the top and obviously you can change that color to your own personal choice and preference you click apply and there we go you get the idea and if you come back you'll see it's actually saved that now as a recent so i can then change that color apply that and you can see now if i come back i can head back to any recent i've applied as a quick shortcut so i think that's a nice uh, move in the right direction just giving you a bit of versatility regarding the browser and um, just personalizing the browser to your own personal choice and preference. Now, while we are talking about the theme and customizing the browser, you will notice that there's a kind of a different new tab page. And I posted on this background um, and changing the background on the new tab page um, using a new uh, um, AR theme generator for Microsoft Edge which lets you uh, create a theme using artificial intelligence. And I'll leave that here in the end screen um, for you, um, obviously, to go check out because it does kind of tie in today with today's new feature with the color picker. So you can now use the color picker to change the, basically the outline of the browser and you can use the new AR theme generator to change the look and feel and also the um, background wallpaper on your new tab page. So that's... What's happened with this latest update, as mentioned, quite a lot going on in this latest point release update, which rolled out on the 30th of May. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.